Hmm. So, with Shelburne losing, St. Pat's knew that no matter what happened last night in St. Mel's Park, they would stay top of the Premier Division. The question was, by how many points? But a thrown town had beaten Manchester City in a friendly last Monday, so they were in a positive mood for a match that was vital to both sides. Now, for at Lone Town, Connor Frawley was suspended, so David Dowling played at centre-back wearing the number eight jersey, and Adrian Carberry came in at left-back for Johnny Morris Burke, who was substitute. St. Patrick's Athletic made just one change as they welcomed back the influential Eddie Gormley for his first start in seven matches. John Glynn made way for him. So that was the background as we join the action early in the first half. St. Patrick's are playing from left to right, and your commentator is Stephen Elkin. Paul Ozan managing to keep it in play. Collins to Murphy. Off Collins. Couldn't control it. Now Eddie Gormley bursting through for St. Pat's. A typical run by Gormley. And the chance to shoot. Oh, and it's just wide. A super effort by Eddie Gormley. Picked up the ball in midfield when there was any hesitation by Athlone Town. And burst into the space. And that shot could only have beaten the goal post by, oh, fraction of inches. Dave Collins forward, no offside because uh, Golden was coming back from an offside position and Tommy Gain is in the clear and Gareth Byrne down to save. Willie Burke clearing it away. Athlone still coming forward. That was a really good chance. Donald Golden coming back from the offside position and in went Tommy Gain. Good chance for him to get his 11th goal of the season but Gareth Byrne saved well and Willie Burke completed the clearance. Parks. Poor pass though. And it's Gormley this time trying to find Ozam. Kinsler, the covering player for Athlone. And Shane Curran and he getting out of trouble quite well. Carpenter. Blocked by Collins. And it's Morris Rowe trying to get through to Noel Myrna. The chance for Ricky O'Flaherty. And a good save by the keeper. And that all came from goalkeeper Shane Curran and Alan Kinsella trying to play the ball out of danger. Dowling to Golden. Ozan with the despairing challenge. Eventually blocked by Peter Carpenter. Just over three minutes to the interval. Still no goals here at St. Mel's Park. Ozan, Gormley leaving it for Paul Campbell, which allows Carberry to get in. And maybe a chance here for Adrian Carberry. And another for Warren Parks. And that's the goal for Athlone Town. Terrible mistake in the St. Pat's defence. First of all, it was Adrian Carberry bursting through. And when it came off the defender, Warren Parks with the follow-up shot Easily beat Gareth Byrne. Myrna, Carpenter, Campbell robbed by Carberry. Parks unable to get past John McDonald's strong challenge. Dave Campbell this time. Nice little shimmy there from Willie Burke. And then tackled by Michael Collins. But the tackle was from behind and the free kick is to St. Pat's. Dave Campbell looking forward at the far post. So what is St. Pat's going to do this time? It's Campbell with the chip ball. Paul Ozan with the header. And that's the equaliser for St. Pat's. Nine minutes gone in the second half. And a simple goal. Slighted in beautifully from Paul Campbell. And Paul Ozan getting free of his marker. And a little glancing header was enough. 1-1. Kinsella. Collins and the interception from Dave Campbell and the mistake there by the Athlone Town defence Paul Campbell away and he's hit the crossbar and there's Brian Morris Rowe with the follow up well over the bar what a chance for St. Patrick's Athletic Ricky O'Flaherty was in support. Brian Morris Rowe 
missing the second chance, but it was Paul Campbell who was away from halfway, in behind the Athlone defence, only the goalkeeper to beat, and his extravagant shot struck the bar. Gaynor leaves it for Collins, and McLaughlin getting past Gormley for once. Dowling. Again caught offside. <laughs> Myrna's header falling for Paul Ozam. A flattery bursting into the box and he gets the penalty kick. So St. Pat's with a great chance of taking the lead now. Dennis McArdle are judging that Barry Murphy had pushed O'Flaherty as he went for the through ball. Judge it for yourself. O'Flaherty on the run between the defenders. Barry Murphy with the push. And the result is a penalty. Eddie Gormley against Shane Curran. And that's it. Eddie Gormley puts St. Pat's ahead. 14 minutes into the second half. Gormley with his fourth penalty kick and his seventh league goal of the season. And all of a sudden the game has turned right around. John McDonald with the header. Gaynor out wide to Collins. Paul Campbell, the St. Pat's player closest to him, lays it back for Carberry. McLaughlin trying to get past Noel Myrna and taken down the free kick to Athlone Town. Almost 20 minutes gone in the second half. And this is a chance for Athlone Town maybe to set up one of their free kick routines from the training ground. Five players, even six if you include Noel Myrna there on the right in the St. Pat's wall. And the shot, a brilliant goal by Warren Parks. Absolutely superb. The free kick just touched to him, and he put it away in fine style. So there we are. 20 minutes gone in the second half, and we're all tied at two, and it's all to play for here. What a wonderful goal. His second of the match. The free kick just touched to him, and a rocket into the top left corner. Goalkeeper Gareth Byrne at no chance. And it's Athlone Town 2, St. Patrick's Athletic 2. Paul Campbell winning it in the air. Trying to find Brian Morris Rowe. And Shane Curran completely missing the ball. And was that a block by a hand? And my word, St. Pat's might have calls there for something. It's Gormley. Far post. And Curran again having to punch it over the bar. He did well there under pressure from John Glynn. Eddie Gormley again across to take it. Six St. Pat's players in the penalty area. And it floats again towards the six-yard box. And Johnny Morris Burke clearing it away to Tommy Gaynor. Here's Gaynor again. No free kick against Gaynor, but yes, there was a free kick against Dave Collins as he bundled into Noel Myrna. Pushed forward to Gormley, who's onside this time. And Dowling with the mistake. Gormley's through. And the ball just wide off the defender. What a chance for St. Pat's to steal it in the last few seconds. That's Johnny Glynn at the near post. The corner blocked by the defence. Cleared by Morris Burke. Up to Warren Parks. Parks, past the challenge of Carpenter. Now taking on Paul Campbell and looking for Tommy Gaynor, but Burke was there to do his job. Now McLaughlin pumping it forward, but Gaynor was coming back from an offside position. And maybe that's the last threat from Athlone Town as we've played a minute and a half of added time. Still we go on. Johnny Glynn to Myrna. And the shot from Myrna again deflected and another corner to St. Pat's. 
question is, will they have enough time to take it? Buckley, number 14 at the near post. It's Gormley with the free kick. Swung in there and off the post. And the shot from Campbell blocked out to Gormley once more. And there goes the final whistle. The game ends in a welter of excitement. A superb second half. Full credit to both teams for producing such an exciting match. It was a tremendous game. I expected a difficult game. Um, at Lowen showed clearly that they don't fancy relegation. And I think everyone was here enjoyed the game. We have to settle for a point and we're three points ahead. You had a lot of pressure near the end and a couple of pretty good chances. Well, I felt overall that the two goals they got were very much against the run of play. The second one was a great free kick. But really, we controlled the game. And even after the equaliser, we did an excellent spell in the last 10 minutes. And we had a fair few chances to win it. Didn't quite take those chances. That's the way it goes. You're just three points behind Drogheda United, who are in that third last position, which could be the playoff uh, position. Do you think you can catch them with six games to go? Well, I think if we keep playing like that, and I think if we keep getting results like that, we're certainly capable. And I think if, if we continue the way we're doing, uh, yeah, why not?